Hey Legends, Luke Pierce coming back with another video. This one is really, really going to change the way that you live and experience within your relationships. These are the three rules. These three rules will dramatically change the way that you are interacting with your partner. So let's go through uh, these three rules. Before we get too carried away, imagine that within each and every single person, they have a list. And this list, once ticked, they are very happy. So imagine you are hanging out with your partner, your wife, your, your, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever it is, and imagine you don't know the list. And all of a sudden, every now and then, they get really angry, or they get really sad, or they get really um, you know, negative, whatever you want to label that as. And you have no idea why, they, why that happened. Well, I can guarantee you that it falls into one of these categories. Now let's put the shoe on the other foot. How would you like to know exactly what their list is? Pretty powerful, right? It's freaking uber powerful. So let me take you through. The very first one is you need to find out what their musts are. Must. All right, within your partner, they are going to have a must list. So here's the magic words. You ask your partner what must an amazing partner do. Just literally ask them and say, what must an amazing partner do? They might say things like loyalty, always love me, be honest, um, you know, uh, be nice, whatever it might be. There's 50 million different things, right? So that means there's no, flex there's no flexibility in a must. If I must do something, then that's it. If my partner must do this and they don't do that, then I'm not gonna be very happy. Right? And now, even just with this first one, you can probably understand why a lot of relationships didn't work in the past. The next one is should. So the next one is should. What should a perfect partner do? What should an amazing partner do? They're going to give you a big old list of all sorts of different things, but they're only shoulds. What does that mean? That means that if you don't do them, they're probably not going to leave you, but if you do do them, you'll light them up like a Christmas tree. Alright, so that's important. And the next one is need. The next one is need. What do you need from a perfect partner? What do you need from a perfect partner? Well, I need someone that's going to come home from work and just, uh, you know, always greet me at the door, give me a massive hug, give me a kiss, ask me how my day is going. Or maybe you need a partner that, um, you know, uh, physically, like, uh, like touch, they always are hugging and kissing and stuff like that. And you want to hold hands, whatever it might be, right? So that's what they need. So just put this in your mind. Now you know what your partner needs. Now you know what your partner shoulds, as in what they should, what a perfect partner, what you should do in order to make them feel happy, feel amazing. Doesn't mean you have to do it, but if you did do it, they'd be very, very happy. And number one, now you know what you must do in order to light them up like a Christmas tree. One, two, three. If you do that within your relationship right now, my goodness, it's game over for the best possible result. Do yourself a favor. Just out in conversation, start asking your partner, what must a good partner do? You could ask that about anything. What must a good car have in order to be a good car? What must a uh, good son be or do in order to be a good son? Um, this is just the structure. You can use it on anything. So there you go. Hope that helps out. That will literally save people's marriages, people's relationships. Guaranteed. Hope it helps out.